Peter Vaughan and today I'm at the Camping and Caravanning Club's Polstead site in the lovely Suffolk countryside. It's a lovely little site with um, borders, hedge borders between the pitches and I've really enjoyed my time here. Anyway, this is what I've brought to show you exclusively from Adria's trade launch yesterday brand new for the 2022 season it's not even quite a production vehicle it's a bit of a prototype but it will give you the flavor of what you're going to be able to buy later on this year it's the twin sports 640 sg now twin sports means that it's got a pop top as standard 640 means it's on the extra long van, the 6.36 meter Fiat Ducato. And SG, well, it's a new layout for the 2022 season. We'll come on to that in just a minute. Of course, the production vehicles will be on the latest facelifted Fiat Ducato, which isn't the easiest thing to spot from the outside, but it does have a slightly different grille and different headlights. Other than that, it looks much the same on the outside. This prototype is of course left-hand drive because it's come over from the factory in Slovenia but the right-hand drive models that we'll be getting in the UK do still have the sliding door on the off side. In the UK we'll get the alloy wheels and the awning as standard as well as the 140 bhp engine though you should note that the 140 bhp engine in the facelifted vehicle is actually a new unit in order to meet the latest Euro 6D final emission standards. Now the other thing that we'll be getting in the UK as standard on these twin sports will be a 4.3 tonne chassis. That's because this is a four berth van and with the large garage area that's the whole USP of this vehicle, Adria felt that there just wasn't enough payload in standard form. As it is on the 4.3 tonne chassis, you'll have over a tonne of payload, so plenty whatever you want to carry. Another thing to note, of course, is the price and this vehicle starts at just over 61 grand. For that, you get pretty much as you see it here, with a few exceptions, minor ones. You get the solar panel on the roof, that's an option on this vehicle. The fly screen on the door, that's an option too. And if you don't want a white van, there are options. You can have silver or four different shades of grey. And isn't silver just another word for grey, really? So, it's the pop top and the fact that this is a four berth that makes it a twin sports and not just a twin, but it's what's at the back that makes it into a 640 SG. And this is rather unique. Now, looking down the near side of the vehicle, you've got an external shower point. That's standard for the UK. Your toilet servicing hatch, of course. Now, interestingly, you get a little handle in here for emptying your wastewater. Just put that in there and turn, and that'll empty your wastewater out here. And it's a nice large bore, so it shouldn't take too long to drain down. And then you've got your mains hookup point. Now, before I take you inside this new van, perhaps I'll just show you some of the external details. Look at these bold graphics. Adria has certainly given it a bit of uh, pizzazz on the outside and they've also given it these very nice flush fit windows. The electric step that goes in automatically when you start the engine so you don't have to worry about forgetting that and your fresh water tank is inboard and fills here. It's 100 litres inboard, great for winter camping. You've got an awning light as well, that's part of the standard spec and as I said, the awning is standard as well. And finally, of course, there's that supersized overcab sunroof. Double glazed, but it doesn't open. And it does make quite a difference to the feel inside. So we've covered the less conventional aspects of the twin sports. But what about the rest of it? Well, the kitchen is by the sliding door as you'd expect in a continental camper van. The lounge is half to net and two swivel cab seats. 
as you'd expect in a continental camper van. And where's the washroom? Well, yeah, it's behind me where you'd expect. So what's different? Well, that big overcab sunroof is the star feature. It doesn't open, but it lets lots of light into this area. And with the roof up as well, and with the big fly screen section at the front open to the elements to give you lots of fresh air and more light into the vehicle, it really does open up the space. I also found that driving it yesterday in glorious sunshine and high 20s, having the panoramic uh, roof light there really did light up the front of the vehicle, made it feel much more spacious. And if you were traveling through some glorious scenery, sitting in the back here, you could see the mountains. Oh, well, there aren't many mountains in Suffolk, but you get the picture. It would be good. I like that a lot. Some people will say you lose storage. Well, maybe you do a bit, but look how much storage you've got at the back. And I like the way Adria have integrated these cupboards right the way into the front, all very smooth and uh, yeah, just beautifully designed. It's, it looks really smart. No silly little open shelves where everything will fall out. They've thought of rear passengers too with these cup holders built into the table, somewhere for pens or whatever. You've got USB ports above too, so the kids will be happy playing on their iPads or whatever. What they won't be possibly so happy about is the lack of space. Um, anybody larger sitting in this half donette is going to feel a little bit hemmed in. Um, you've got Isofix as standard on this seat, but I think by the time you've got a child seat in here, you would have to remove the table. And getting in and out of the table, you do find that you do have to sort of thread your foot around the table leg. For dining, of course, there is the usual pull-out extension leaf. Of course, on right-hand drive vehicles, that will serve the driver's seat. Anything else? Well, lighting is good. You've got these LED strips, uh, mood lighting above the top lockers, and even push-to-operate reading lights for the driver and passenger seats, whether, whether they're facing forward or whether they're in lounge mode. <laughs> Now, Adria introduced its twin sports range to the UK last year with one layout. This year, there are four models in the range and they all have this pop top. That is what distinguishes them from standard twins. It's a manually operated roof and it's Adria's own design. One of the key features is that when the roof's down, the rails at the back of the roof give the impression that the elevating roof itself is the full length of the vehicle. Makes the styling much neater, much, much more uh, resolved when the roof's down. Now, to raise it, you have two catches to undo on each side, belt and braces, and then just give it a good push and the gas struts do the rest. Pulling it down, you have two substantial straps to pull it on and it does require a bit of effort as well as standing on the seats or something to do so unless you're extraordinarily tall. So once you've got the roof up time to add the ladder which you'll keep in the garage at the back. Now once you're up in the loft well, you've got a double bed up here, 1.98 metres by 1.17 metres. And it's very comfortable because it's on a base of plastic springs. You've got good headroom too at the front of the bed here. All the canvas is removable. You can just unzip it if you ever need to clean it or replace it. You've also got a set of insulation pads that go around and zip into place if you want to use the van in colder weather, because obviously, You've got canvas up here, so it's a bit like being in a tent. It's not fully insulated like a, a normal motorhome. And then, wow, if you want a bit of daylight and lots and lots of fresh air, wait, you can just unzip that section and you've got big fly screen panel all around the front of the roof. And you've also got these reading lights with USBs on either side. With a length of 
2.08 meters, a width between the furniture of 1.14 meters and a height of 1.88 meters. This must be one of the biggest motorhome garages you'll ever see. It's got tracking in the floor to tie down your items, whether they be electric bikes or kayaks or even a motorbike, because remember, you've got over a ton of payload. You've got these clip-in lashing points that can also attach to the sides. There's even an optional rail system to further increase versatility. And look at this for clever storage. Three hole doors on either side of the roof. And when you want to take them out, just pull the red tags and they unclip from the wall. And you've got three really good size hole doors. Either take those indoors for packing or just take them with you when you're out on, a, on an expedition. And of course, the back of the van isn't just a garage. It's also the other bedroom just undo two straps and this bed simply hinges down. It's held in place with these seatbelt style straps. It's 2.05 meters long, really generous length and 81 centimeters wide. You've got a reading light as well and with a USB port built in like the uh, lights in the roof and then so you could use it like that with bicycles stored here or there's a second bed folds down. This one's not quite as long, 1.89 metres, but it's the same width, 81 centimetres. And again, on plastic springs, so very comfortable to sleep on. You've got a roof vent above for ventilation as well as opening windows in the back doors. You've still got lots of storage underneath and if that's not enough you can raise these beds on this ratchet system on the wall to whatever height suits your purpose. And there's even a second ladder provided if you have the bed at one of its higher levels. And so we come to the kitchen. Now, unlike other models in the twin range, there's no oven and grill in this model because the kitchen is that bit smaller. Like the half donette, it's been squeezed a bit to get in that massive garage, but you've still got a sink, two burner hob, three very large drawers, none of them fitted for cutlery, but just get a cutlery holder from the accessory shop at your dealer. Those soft clothes, and I like these nice positive catches. They're really good. Little oddment shelf for your washing up liquid and so on. Nice big top cupboard. And this is a useful cupboard here. Nice tall cupboard above the wardrobe. And that is useful for cereal packets and anything tall like that. Um, I've got camera bags in there, but that's that's me and my needs. And then underneath, you've got a small, small wardrobe. As an option, Adria will be offering to heat that wardrobe if you need to dry things like wetsuits and so on. So that might be quite a useful feature for some buyers. And then finally, of course, with the kitchen, you've got the fridge. Now that only the fridge door only opens the one way, but you can still get at it from outside. It's 84 litres and it's a compressor model, so you just switch on and forget. So the one area we haven't talked about is the washroom, and it's not bad for a camper van. For one thing, you don't need a curtain. When you're showering, you just pull this timber door across, and here's the shower head. You will have to hand hold it because its wall mounting is rather low. The other thing that's rather low is the mirror, unless you're extremely petite. But there's a reasonable amount of storage. I like this new design of basin, that's very smart. Plenty of room to use the loo. There's even a couple of drains in the shower tray, so it all seems pretty well thought out. The only thing that isn't, is rather lacking, is any ventilation. Of course, you can't have a roof vent because of the pop top above, but it would be nice perhaps to have a window. Mm -hmm. 
whether this new twin sports goes straight on your must-see motorhomes list will depend entirely, I guess, on whether you need or want this huge space behind me and have a sport or activity to fill this large area. And, and also to use that payload. I mean, not many motorhomes or camper vans have a ton of payload. Of course, to get all this into a standard extra long Fiat van, um, you have had to compromise a bit on the kitchen and the lounge. But if this is what you want, that probably won't matter. If you want a more mainstream model, then there are other layouts, of course, in, in the twin sports range and without the pop top in the standard twin range. All of them have this nice contemporary feel, a good feeling of quality as we come to expect from Adria. And well, the range now with four twin sports, four berth pop top models is wider than ever.